Hi, this is Myra with Boutique Paint. I've had this glass jar for quite a while, waiting for the right project. And when I saw the um, Whispering Willow uh, new transfer from Iron Orchid Design, I thought that would go very pretty on this jar. So that's what we're going to do today. To start, I'm going to take a little bit of rubbing alcohol and a paper towel and I'm going to clean the jar. That way any oils or whatnot from people's hands will come off. And I'm going to let that dry while we're cutting out what we're going to use. And I think I will grab a couple. Well, I can use two paints to, or paint brushes here just to kind of hold it into place so it doesn't roll around a lot. And I'm going to, I'm thinking I want to use that, this flower here, and then maybe put in some of the berries. So I'm going to go ahead and just cut this whole area out. I think I'm going to come down here and cut that at an angle. So I have two pieces. Was thinking is just kind of wrapping this around kind of like that and then I might it has one berry in it already so I was thinking it would be nice to add it maybe a little bit more to it but I think we're gonna I think that's gonna be too tall with that leaf maybe I will trim it right kind of there always save any little pieces that you cut off and you can put it in a file folder and that way when you just need bits and pieces maybe to do a fill-in you have a whole whole bunch of them yeah I'll go like that okay looks like it's dry Oh, this is going to be so pretty. Just kind of push it down. This is sticking quite nicely on its own. If it doesn't, you can always um, grab some tape and tape it down. I need a rubbing stick. And then you just start doing your thing, rubbing. This can be sometimes the part that takes the longest if you haven't used the IOD transfers yet. And then sometimes they just go super, super fast. And once you get them started, you can actually hear it when it starts to stick. It kind of makes a, a, a distinct noise. And then you can sometimes see it actually pulling away. And I haven't got that quite yet.
Okay, there you can see it's starting to pull up a little bit right there. And that's what you want. Sometimes once you get that started, then you want to go the way of that. The bubble, I should say. Um, you can see that's starting to stick. It's not really making the noises that I'm used to when I'm working on like a piece of furniture. But you can kind of see that it's changing colors there. So it's telling you that it's lifting. start seeing it That's leaving the transfer behind because it's on the round it's sometimes easier to use the edge the um, long edge And if a little piece happens to not lift up, like if you have a little piece that's left. Okay, I think we're there. If by chance you go to lift it up and you have a little piece that's behind, go ahead and set it right back down and keep rubbing. And it will just um, go right where you need it to, unless it's by some chance shifted. And you could see that pulled up. Well, maybe you couldn't because it was off screen. This pulled up a little bit, but you want to do this anyway. You're just going to want to take the paper with the, um, it's kind of more the matte side and just rub on it. All right, and of course I had greasy fingers because I had lotion on my hands and I didn't clean my hands before. So I'm just gonna clean up again the where my hands were with the rubbing alcohol again. Right. Clean my fingers a little bit too. I can still see a fingerprint. All right. So now, where do we want to put some of these? I think one right here and maybe one over on this side. So I'm going to go in here. Just cut that little guy. I'm just going to have him poking out right there. And you can overlap like this.
we go. All right. Once again. Now I'm going to put a sealer coat over this. And it might get a little tricky in the fact that um, I don't want the sealer coat really to show. Let's get these out of the way. But what I'm using is a Mod Podge uh, product. It's to make things uh, dishwasher safe. And this is a gloss. That being said, I wouldn't put this in the dishwasher. The reason why is because um, I don't know what it'll do to the transfer. Um, you know, especially because dishwashers are really hot water uh, so that it gets everything sanitized. I don't know what's it got all over this. Got little somethings. Um, so I'm going to put this on though to seal it so that you know, if I do want to clean this, I can wipe it down. And the reason why I say it's, it might be a little tricky is because I don't know what kind of shadowing this might leave. I mean, we, we have a little bit of the shadowing from the transfer itself, um, but I don't want a residue left behind, something that you can see. So what I'm going to do, and you can go over the parts that like that where it's two. I don't think that's going to matter. But around the edges, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go around the edges just a little bit. So I'm going like an eighth of an inch or so maybe a quarter inch past the stencil or stencil, excuse me, the transfer. Because what I want to do is I want those edges to, to basically be glued down. And that way, if you do wipe it down, then the water won't get under there. So now we're going to let this dry um, and you can see if you kind of get in the right light and kind of do it, um, you know, so you can see it's a little glossier um, where this is. So you can see if you missed any spots by just kind of rolling it and kind of looking at it in good light. You could also, once this dries, go ahead and put a second coat on if you feel like you needed it. Um, for what I'm going to use. I'm pretty sure it'll be okay the way it is. But I was thinking one of the short ones with these flowers on it for in your bathroom for like your q-tips or your um, cotton balls would be so pretty. I may have to go pick up a small one. And I know they have the smaller ones sometimes at the dollar store. Um, so you could check there also. So now that it's dry, you can see a little bit of ghosting or shadowing here with the product but it's not horrible and once something's in it and you have it you know wherever you're going to be placing it with whatever you're going to have in it i think it'll be fine and it'll be very uh not very noticeable um that being said if it's you know you got some in a place that maybe you don't want it or it's a little too thick you could probably take a razor knife and just kind of or even your fingernail 
I noticed it would move with my fingernail. It, um, I don't know once it completely sets up if it'll still do that. My guess is yes. And then if you wanted to, you could do like a ribbon around here or some rope or whatnot. But I think I'm just going to leave it the way it is because I really think it turned out beautiful. So thank you so much for joining me. If you have any questions about any of the products I used here, you can go to our website at www.boutiquepaint.com. Thank you. Bye.